Here's another email for you, Dr. Daniels. Why a polio vaccine shows a very high antibodies 15 years post-vaccine along with various symptoms? What does this mean? Why a polio vaccine? This is not written very well, but do you understand the question? Why a polio vaccine shows... Well, the question very... is why do you still have antibodies and, and stuff 15 years later? Yeah, right. And the answer is because you got polio with the vaccine and you have low-grade polio. That would be the... I mean, that's the short answer. So, all of us who have received the polio vaccine, which I guess is most of us, um, we still have a little... Well, I guess the body, though, if you're doing things really well, will eventually detoxify that stuff out. No. No? No. Uh, that, that, that's, that's, that's a good question. Yeah. Because it was injected into you. It bypassed your saliva. It bypassed your tonsils. It bypassed the acid in your stomach. It bypassed your liver even. Yeah. And so what you have is uh, you, you have uh, ketchup. Your 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 whole immune system is like whoa whoa where they go, and uh, it doesn't doesn't it doesn't uh, doesn't compute. So your body literally is on a search and destroy search and search and apprehend mission, and it's looking at all kinds of places it wasn't trained to look to try and find out where is this virus. Um, it's it's an overwhelming task. It can happen, um, but uh, it doesn't necessarily happen, and that's that's the beauty of vaccines. If one vaccine can give a lifetime of revenue to the company that manufactured the vaccine. My the goodness. Gift gift. Yeah. And just think about the amount. Are you on top of the amount of standard vaccines that are given to the little ones today? I was so sad. Now, you know what's sad about it. Let's just put aside for a minute whether the vaccines are good or bad. Just we'll leave that alone. Okay. The diseases that they're vaccinating against are diseases the kids are never going to get. Uh, you know, I mean, unless you're going to rape your one-year-old, you know, hepatitis B, and even then, chances are the rapist hasn't got hepatitis B, right? So uh, we're vaccinated against a whole cadre of diseases that, one, don't exist, um, two, the person's not going to be exposed to, and three, all available information suggests the vaccines are just uh, not effective, and four, even more tragic, they're not even communicable diseases. Polio is spread by uh, sewage water, by drinking sewage water. How is that a communicable disease? So we're giving vaccines for diseases that are not even communicable. So that's one thing. Then you have, I know you do a lot of spiritual, the so spiritual aspect of this. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. There's a whole spiritual piece here. You've got a, a baby who's in the arms of his mother thinking, oh, okay, I'm safe. This is my mommy. She's looking after me. And she picks him up, takes him from her house, takes him to a place where he's tortured with needles and stabbed. You are sowing the seeds of distrust between this kid and his mother. And the parents don't even realize this. You're sending this little, little organism the message that his mother cannot, will not protect him. Wow. And you're undermining and breaking up the family from a very young age. I've never thought about that. 